Hello, and in today's lesson, we're going to be taking the PHP search, which we made just before this, and we're going to be converting it with some jQuery to make it instant. This will work exactly like Google's feature. As you type, it already starts searching, and then the more you type, the more it filters. Now, if we go to where we left off online, you can see that that has already come into play. For example, if we type in Smith, it comes up with all the people with the string of Smith in their name. And if you type in P, it comes up with all the people with just P in their name. So you can see the more you type, the more it filters anyway. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the document which we last left off in. And before we do anything, we're just going to put in the script with the type of text slash JavaScript. And then the SRC, we need to link to the Google API jQuery. And how we do that is we're just gonna to go to Google and we're gonna type in Google jQuery API, like so. And it's the first link, Google Libraries API. Now we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna wait until we see jQuery. And once we found jQuery, we're gonna copy this path and then we're going to paste it into here. So once that's done, we're just gonna close off the script tag. And now we can open the script tag, type equals text slash JavaScript, go down a few lines, close the script tag, and that's where we can write our own JavaScript and jQuery in there. Now, before we write our own jQuery and JavaScript, we're gonna to have to add another argument or attribute even, sorry, onto the end of this input field. And that attribute is going to be on key down. Now, this is gonna fire off a function on every key down, which sends to JavaScript or jQuery. And this is going to be called search Q. Now the reason why we're not calling it search is because search will be highlighted as a function and will not work as it's already a function. So we just need to create this. So we're just going to write in function and then the function name which we created. So it's search Q. And you can see that if we just type in search then it gets highlighted as it's already a default function. And once we put Q on it, it turns into that black color which is what we want. Then we open and close brackets, open curly brace, go down a few lines and close off that curly brace. Now the first thing we want to do is create a var, and we're going to call this var search txt, standing for text. Now the reason why we're creating a variable is because we can now collect the variable, the uh, value of this input field, and use this variable all the way through to, yeah, to basically use the text. Um, so how we do this is we do dollar symbol, open bracket, two, uh, double quotation mark, and then we just do input, and then we do open close square brackets, single quotation marks, and then before the single quotation marks, we're just gonna put name equals. So we're selecting the input with the name that equals search. Then we can close off this double quotation mark, close off the bracket, and we could do dot val to find out the value of that. So once we got the value of that, we can then send the value to a PHP script. And how we're gonna do this is once again, like the form, we're going to be using the post method. So how we do this is we just do dollar symbol dot post, open bracket, and then once we open the bracket, we put two double quotation marks. Now this is the script which we want to send it to. So let's say we're sending it to search.php. Once we sent it to search.php, we can then do a comma, open and close curly brace, and now within these curly braces is the data which we're gonna to send to that PHP. Now how you do this is you just type in the data name. So let's just do search val and then colon and then what it's equal to. Now instead of putting the input name equals search bit, we can just put in the variable search text here. Now if you wanted to put any more information that wants to get posted, you just do comma and then exactly the same thing again. But we're gonna leave that out. So after the curly brace, we're just gonna do function, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, go down a few lines, close the curly brace, close the starting bracket, and it will close it all off with a semicolon. So once we've done that, we're just gonna create this new page, search.php. So we go file, new, PHP. We're gonna go back to index.php. We're gonna copy all of this PHP. We're gonna control exit all out of there. And then we're going to paste it into this second file, and we're going to name the second file, search.php. Now there's a couple things we need to change. Now the first thing we need to change is we need to change the post method. As you see that we're not posting search anymore, we're posting search val. So if we just copy this search val and paste it in here and here, you can see that now everything will work just as it does. But the first thing we need to do, or the last thing we need to do, is we need to 
echo out this output variable back to the jQuery. So we're just going to echo output like so. Okay, so once that's done, we can then go back into index.php and how we're going to collect back whatever's outputted is we just in here, in this function, we just put data. Or in fact, we could put output to make it, you know, the same name as what we're echoing back. So that's whatever's echoed back from PHP. Now what we want to do is we want to actually make output appear on the page. So if we just get rid of this PHP print of the output and replace it with a div of the ID of output and close off the div, then here we can do dollar symbol open bracket, open double quotation mark, and then we can put with the ID symbol, which is the pound symbol of output, close double quotation mark, close brackets, and then we can do dot HTML, open and close brackets, and close all off with a semicolon. And then in here, we just put in the variable output, which we create collect back from the function. So now let's take a look and see if this works as we want. So let's type in P, P, D, F, G, and you can see that nothing actually works the way we want it to. So let's just take a look and see why that's working. So once again, I can see that there's a small spelling mistake here on the search, and that is once again through typing. So I'm gonna make sure in my next tutorials that that has all been fixed and done with my typing so that I don't make any small little spelling mistakes. But now this should work. So enough talking, Joe, and let's refresh. And then let's go ahead and let's put in F, and you can see that all of the people with F, so like Sophie Fowler is here, and let's keep on typing and put O, so you can see that Sophie Fowler is the only person with F and O in their name. So let's put in P, I, or P, I, P, and that's Pip Anderson, let's put in Joe, let's put in Smith, let's put in Z, O, E, let's put in Bailey for Max Bailey, let's put in Max, let's put in M, A, you can see these are all the items with M and A in their name. And then you can put Max. And you can see that Emma has an M, A there. So it's similar. And now if we just put in space, you can see that that is exactly the string which we want. And let's put in Emma. And you can see that's the string we want. And you can see as we type, it filters out what we want, which if you have loads of search results will actually work really well. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make the instant searching with jQuery. I'm sorry for my spelling mistake in this tutorial. I will definitely fix that in the tutorials up to come. Make sure you like this video, um, comment below and subscribe to my channel. And if you want any video tutorials um, that you want requested, why not give me a comment below and I'll make them next. So I'll see you then and thank you for watching my tutorials. Goodbye.